So, ladies and gentlemen, we have a statement to release as the leadership of our Zimio La Umoja One Kenya movement. Following the filing of the presidential election petition at the Supreme Court of Kenya today, August 22nd, 2022. A short while ago, we successfully filed our presidential election petition at the Supreme Court of Kenya. The action we have taken is perfectly in line with the stipulations of our constitution on resolving electoral disputes. It affirms our deep belief in constitutionalism, the rule of law, and a peaceful resolution of disputes, including high stakes ones like the presidential election. We have been sh shocked that as we prepare to go to court, others tried to stop us. Kenyans and all those who followed our campaign will recall that fighting and ending corruption in Kenya was a core agenda throughout our campaign as a Zimila Umoja One Kenya Coalition Party. The presidential election results announced last week represent that continuing struggle, pitting the forces for democracy and good governance against the corruption cartels that are so determined that they will stop at nothing to take control of the government in this country. This is a do or die battle for the corruption cartels who have everything to lose should the forces of democracy take over. The corruption cartels are prepared to compromise electoral systems, bribe electoral officials, make security systems look other way, or even kill in order to find their way to power and their ill-gotten wealth and continue stealing from the public. We believe this is what happened in this election. For the sake of Kenya's future, the corruption network must not only be stopped, it must also be crushed. This attempted takeover of the country in this election has not been an isolated phenomenon. It has been in the works every election cycle. The corruption cartel has been intruding into our elections by not only financing specific candidates, but also by threatening or assassinating candidates and election officials. The corruption cartels have steadily been moving into manipulating electoral demands and suppressing the participation of voters who support rival political formations. Their activities that make it clear voters and, their vo and votes do not matter have progressively reduced voter turnout in Kenya. At times, the cartels have rigged, uh, have, have triggered intense conflict between security forces and themselves as they strive to compromise elections. Slowly but steadily, these forces are killing our hard won democracy and are trying to return Kenya into a one party state in their own interests. You have seen the speed with which they have moved to buy elected leaders just within one week. After being denied the numbers at lower levels in elections, like members of the National Assembly, members of the county assemblies and governors, these corruption cartels are working and buying leaders who have been elected on other parties' tickets to kill our democracy and also make 
the work of containing corruption at lower levels equally less effective. All these efforts have important political costs for our country and they should not be underestimated. The corruption cartels know there are multiple benefits for them if they take over. Their members dealing in illegal drugs will thrive through greater ease in the transportation and distribution of drugs throughout the country. They will access intelligence information for more corruption. They will gain protection from the police, for their leaders and their illegal activities. They will institute weaker or no restrictions at, at, all for the, for, at all for the money laundering and they will ensure nobody else but them thrive. This potential array of, of favors for the cartels makes the capturing of government a profitable do or die venture for them. But it marks the beginning of the end of Kenya as we know it today. No nation, once captured by cartels, whether they be corruption cartels, drug cartels, gun running cartels or terror cartels, ever thrived or realized its full potential. The 2022 presidential election represents the most daring move by that cartel to overturn the wishes of the electorate. We refuse to allow Kenya to go that direction. It must not happen and it will not happen. This is what the steps we have taken today and the ones we will take going forward are all about. To stop the corruption cartels from getting to the heart of our nation and government. The presidency and to stop the corruption cartels from jeopardizing electoral health and democracy in our country. Otherwise, we will ha we'll have no country. Our, su our supporters deserve the support of all our citizens and all the citizens and leaders of the world who believe in democracy, constitutionalism and the rule of law. This is the time to walk the talk. And I want to add the same church of Israel. Leo to me fikisha kesi yetu mbele ya mahakama kuu taifa letu juu ya yale janga ambayo yamefanyika katika uchaguzi ambayo tumefanya wiki mbili iliyopita tuna hakika ya kwamba tuko na ushahidi wa kutosha ya kuonyesha kwamba sisi ndio tulishinda uchaguzi huu imedhihirika wazi baada ya sisi kufanya uchunguzi na wale wengine ambaye walishiriki katika hiyo ulagai kujitokeza kama wa Kenya kusema mwaobu imefanyika hapa sisi wenyewe tuliitwa tulipwa pesa lakini tuko tayari kutoa ushahidi na ushahidi yuko hapa yale ambayo imedhihirika siku hizi chache ambayo imepita ni kitu ambaye inaweza kuandikwa katika historia ya kisiku zijazo atoku kwa hata na uchaguzi ambaye mtu anaweza kufurahia wale walanguzi wawezi walikuwa wamo ndani ya kule ukumbi kule Bomas of Kenya hapo hapo walikuwa wanabadilisha matokeo kutoka eneo moja na eneo lingine hapo hapo na wanaingiza huko Ukiona yale maovu walifanya siku hizo unaweza kushangaa. Na vile vile wakuu wa tume ya uchaguzi. Ukangoza
Tumesema ushahidi tuko nazo ya kutosha kuonyesha yale maovu yalifanyika. Na tumesema vile vile hata wakuu wafanyikazi watume uchaguzi wakaongozwa na yule mwenyekiti wao walifanya maovu mengi zaidi. Ukiona mwenyekiti mwenyewe akitofautiana na wanachama wake na kutangaza hata kama ma constituencies 31 na moja toka yao ilikuwa hajawekwa pale na aibu kubwa kwa demokrasia ya Kenya lakini tunatoa shukrani kwa Kenya kwa kusimama imara na vile vile kunyasa utulivu wakati huu nasema wa Kenya waongoje wao na subira maana yake tunasema subira uvutaheri tuna hakika ya kwamba mishowe ukweli itajulikana na hiyo ukweli itapata sisi huru kwa hivyo sisi na tema asanteni sana wakenya wote pale kwenye mahali mko hata marafiki wetu kutoka ngambo ambao wako hapa tungependa kwa sihi wawe na subira wachijiingizi katika mambo ya siasa ya kindani ya Kenya wachi wa Kenya wa Kenya masuluhishi mambo yao kama wa Kenya asiye tunaweza kusulisha mambo yetu asante ni sana Mungu abariki Mungu ibariki Kenya Asante sana.